Hi, how does that make you feel when you lost tonight's game? Uh, first person on the table, Jesus Christ. Uh, terrible, honestly. Uh, I'm a winner, so you, know, you can throw those 55 out with the last 53. Brad, in the, especially in the middle of the fourth quarter when you were getting hot and they, they really started to throw everybody at you, a lot of possessions you started off the ball with Shabazz bringing it up. How do you weigh that balance? Because when you're initiating the offense, you can attack them right there. How do you weigh that balance when they're throwing a bunch of guys at you and you've got to be running off the ball to get open or is it just taking it yourself? Just kind of trusting your teammates. You know, that's how they go on tonight too. You know, so you know, I trust him to make it. I mean, he's a veteran point guard. I've been on since we, we've been competing high school AAU days, you know, so when he first got over, it was just, they kind of just picked up where the pieces left off, and, you know, he's he's been great. He's a true pro. Um, he knows how to handle the ball, you know, no matter who's in that situation, I trust him, so, uh, you know, I needed a break, too. I couldn't just keep, you know, playing on the ball. It's, it's very tiring. Obviously, that's a really good team over there. What do you think made the difference at the, at the end? We show heart, man. I mean, that's what it was. I mean, for 48, I think we got off to a slow start. Down 17, whatever it may have been, and you know we just clawed back. We 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 showed some resilience. You know, in my head, it's like I was viewing this as a first round matchup if we get there. You know, and you know this is kind of our message to them. So we know how tough they are. You know how tough of a team they are. You know they're the number, they're the best team in the league right now. But you know we're going to compete with the best of them, and you know we're going we're not going to go out without a fight. So. You you had 22 of the, of the team's final 24 in, in the regulation to force overtime. Um, what was that stretch like for you? Uh, I was just locked in, and I was just having fun. Uh, it was definitely the, probably the most fun game I've ever played in. Uh, but uh, you know, it's unfortunate. I probably should have shot the ball at the end of the game. Bennett Rui was wide ass open. I should have threw a zip pass to him. I, I kind of lobbed it to him, so I kind of kind of set him up for failure. And then I turned the ball over in overtime too. When we, the game was tied, Middleton made a three. So. I had a lot of had a lot of bad plays on the stretch. You know, I could be better. And, you know, I gotta close out that game. So that's about that last shot, um, and that's what second. Are you thinking of the balance of making the right play or? I'm always, always thinking about that. I'm always thinking right play first. You know, always. You know, he's a wide ass open under the hoop. I'm gonna throw it. You know, it doesn't matter. If it's five two guys under the hoop. I'm gonna throw it. So I just gotta get the ball there faster. When you're as hot as you are, does that change what the definition of a right play is? Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I, looking back on it, I probably should have shot it. But you know, I'm also not going to shoot myself in the foot because I always make the right play, and I know in the back of my head was the right play. So. You trusted Thomas last year with similar plays right. at the end of the game, learning you know here with Rui and also Troy at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Those can really build with the 21, 22 year old. For sure. You know, and Troy, Troy was a little upset when he came in here, but you know he's. Hell, he didn't think he was in the bar right there. You know, but you know the fact that he was ready and shot it and shit, I thought it was good. We just we continue to get better. We move on, you know. This is this is one game that one shot doesn't you know doesn't affect the outcome of the game. Uh, but you know we just gotta we just gotta keep progressing, keep getting better. You know when you when those guys are in that situation, that's why I'm hoping we get to the playoffs because that experience, you know that that boosts their confidence. I think another level, you know, because that style of basketball, that atmosphere, that intensity is just a whole new level than the regular season. Like teams really bring their game. So. Hopefully we have that opportunity and everybody can get the experience. You're a basketball fan. You appreciate the history. You're the third player in history. My partner and Wilt to have back-to-back 53-point -back games. Does that mean anything to you? It's pretty damn cool. It's pretty cool. You know, I don't, I don't want to win, but that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a cool attribute, you know. Uh, those are two greats, you know, two Hall of Famers for sure. Uh, I'm happy to, happy to be in a good company. Today being 224, you're also the first player since Kobe to score 50 or more consecutive nights. I mean, I know how much you probably wanted to be there today, but what does that mean? Oh uh, man, that's that's crazy. Man. I didn't know that. Uh, that's, that's who Kobe was, man. It was his drive and his money today was kind of just brought the feeling and tears all back again today. You know, uh, I think everybody watched him. It was it was spectacular. You know, for Vanessa to get up there and be as strong as she was, and, and everybody who spoke. You know, that was that was very that was very strong and uh, courageous of everybody. You know, it definitely sat with me. And, you know, his legacy will live on forever. You know, and I think one thing that I. I've learned to respect and learning about, you know, the death of Kobe is, you know, it's not about how many points I score, it's not about how many all-star games I make, it's not about how many all-NBA teams I make, because um, at the end of the day, when I'm gone from here, you guys aren't going to remember that, nor are you going to care. And I feel like that's how we feel with Kobe, so, you know, I feel like the impact that you leave on others and your teammates and everybody around you is what's most important, you know, so I think that's what I take to heart the most.
carry that for the rest of my life. What kind of biggest takeaway from this game? Um, I mean, I, I thought we um, <laughs> thought we played well and then we made a lot of tough shots. You know, uh, Chris being an all-star made a tough shot down at the end of the stretch. Um, you know, it just I guess you could take away just us playing hard. We played really hard today. So, and how about the way um, Brad played, but particularly at the end of regulation? Yeah, I mean, he's. He's an all-star. I mean, we got to expect that. The way he was shooting the ball, um, you know, I just kind of made it a big effort into just um, just um, giving him the ball at those moments. You know what I mean? So, let me put it down. Um, you uh, got really hot there in the in the second half. What was working for you? I, I was just trying to be aggressive. Um, I've been just trying to fi figure myself out with the team and just want to try to be aggressive. Um, and then I was, you know, fortunate enough to make shots today. You've been doing this a long time. So you, you can score mm -hmm. tonight, so like nobody else. You feel like you and Brad playing next to each other. Like yeah. You did tonight, like that's kind of what you want to He's see. very talented. I mean, he's very talented and unselfish. Um, you know, and I'm just the same way. I just want to. Uh, find ways to put myself in great spots and then by doing that you know you put your teammates in great spots because you know with Bradley he's able to get downhill guys are able to uh, double him or whatever and he's able to find guys for open shots and I thought he did you know a heck of a job today doing that it's a couple of times he tried to get certain guys and they were grabbing him and he was unable to get it to him but you know he played through every single you know, on call so I thought he did a hell of a job today. What do you learn about this team since you got here? Um, it's, it's a talented team, uh, but the, you know the game is 48 minutes. We just got to put it together. Um, you know the way we play today, we play, we compete like that. Uh, chances are we can do uh, something special. I mean. Uh, I, I want to say frustrated. I just think we're all competitors, and you know we want to win those games, especially when you got your guy scoring the ball like no other. I mean, you want to win those games, and we put ourselves in great uh, positions to win it. Uh, just a uh, miss rebound, you know, miss shot that happens in the game, and. Um, you know, the thing about me, I, I like to always look at the perspective, and I don't think nobody is out there missing shots on purpose. I don't think nobody's trying to turn the ball over on purpose. So it is part of the game, and to be honest, we just try our best to win the game, and uh, I thought Bradley just played a hell of a game for us. You know, Brad, I don't know if anybody does this before, sorry, but Brad is the first guy to go for 50-plus two straight games since, since COVID. Yeah. Is that, is that, how does that stat resonate with you? Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, it's a it's a great feat, and to, to see that it hasn't been done since COVID means something. Um, you got to be an elite player to do that, and um, he's able to do it. And you know, it was a back to back too, and that's that's even tough. You know, I mean, he probably we got in probably like one o'clock. He probably didn't get, you know, he got probably less than eight hours of sleep. That's tough to do. You know, what I mean, for anybody. So. I thought he did a hell of a job today, and I mean he's an he's an also You gotta expect that from him, but that's that's just incredible. Thanks, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Great, you know. Um, I think we did a good job, you know, as a team, you know, um, stopping Giannis. But overall, you know, we I think you know obviously they're the best best team in the league right now, and you know we fought through. But you know um, the last thing, you know, like. Uh, they made a good shot and stuff. But how, how did you prepare specifically for Guardian? Because I would imagine you can only do so much watching the film and trying Yeah, to just got to be physical, you know. Um, I'm not scared, you know. I just got to guard, you know, um, guard him. That's, that's my job. And, uh, you know, um, I think we did a good job as a team today, um, physical. And what do you think of Bradley Beal's performance? Uh, he was great too, you know. Like, uh, we we lost two games, you know. We supposed to win and stuff, whatever. But you know, we we came out, you know, we came we came back, you know, pretty good today. And yeah, it was a good game. For just the frustration of being down twenty, you fight back, you tie the game, send it in overtime. You know, you're two men down essentially tonight against, like you said, the best team in the league. Just the frustration like, for for losing the game. I mean, I think more, I didn't like frustrate, I'm, I was most frustrated like the last two games, you know, those two games were like winnable, you know, we 
we just gave them, you know, the wins and stuff. So, I, but today, you know, we fought good and then it was the best team in the league. And, you know, I think we did a good job, but like, we got to play like that every game and, you know, whatever, whoever we are against, you know, and uh, we got to, we got to play together. What were you thinking as, as Brad scored 22 of your guys' 24 points at the end of regulation to force overtime? I mean, obviously he's a guy, you know, he, he can score like that, you know, he he's great, you know, and uh, I think we did a good job, you know, the team did a good job, you know, um, sharing the ball and stuff, that's why they scored like that. What did you see on that last possession? What did you see on the last possession of regulation? I don't understand. Can you take me through that last play um, for which overtime? One? Brad hit you with the pass in the field. I don't remember. Which one was it? Um, with Robin Lopez. Oh, the, oh, I mean, you know, I was open, you know, and he passed me ball, and I was going to fake it, show fake it, but I didn't think it was time, so I just went through it. But I just got to be stronger, you know, more. Finish it.